So once you've signed in, this is what you're going to be presented with is uh, something that looks a little bit like this. And along the top here, you can actually see there's a whole bunch of different options that you have. And we have options all the way through uh, animations, but the one we're looking for is collage for now. Now you can go through and you can play with this on your own time and see what's going on. But here's what I found when I started to use this uh, yesterday, actually on Friday, uh, May 1st was the first time I actually started to use this program because Miss Arnell and I were talking about some of the things that we could do to make it kind of interesting for you for the next couple of months in photography. So we're gonna make collages and a collage is just a collection of different images. And here's the easiest way I found to do it. Once you've come in here, there's all sorts of different templates you can have a look for collages. But what I found is I'm just gonna go the plus sign at the very bottom here and I'm gonna go into my photo library. Now you need to have edited your pictures first and have them on your phone in order for this to work. So here's a bunch of different pictures that I have on my phone. But what I'm gonna do is I've decided I'm gonna choose this picture, this picture, this picture, and this picture right there. Actually, I don't want that one. So you can see how I'm just tapping on it and it deselects. I'm gonna choose the one above that. Now at the very top, it says add four. Now you can go as many as you want, uh, my understanding is that uh, you can go, I think, up to 16, but we're just going to go four here, and I'm going to add. And then it's going to come up with um, what it thinks is the best way of this should look like. Um, and you can see everything's going in here and everything. Uh, it looks pretty good. So once you have your uh, collage the way you want to, you can actually change the pixel size by going custom. I just leave it like this. I'm literally going to leave it just like that. You can click on Instagram. Or you can just come in here and just go done, which is what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go done. Now I'm gonna get double tap to edit text. I'm just gonna take that text, I'm gonna click it once and we're gonna delete it. So it's gone now. So at this point we have all sorts of different things, but the one that I'm gonna look for is I'm gonna look for layout. And at layout you can see you've got all sorts of different choices here for how you want the layout to look. So I'm just gonna go with this guy here and it automatically will resize and move things around. Uh, it's up to you how you make it look. Uh, I'm going to go with this guy right here for this particular one. I like that. And you can move your picture around a little bit in the frame here if you need to. Uh, and it does a pretty good job. Now, once you've chosen your uh, layout, you can go in and choose the border if you want. I don't really do that. Color, you can choose the background color or design. And we're not going to worry about any of that. So I'm just going to go back over here and we're gonna go done at this point. Okay, so choose up a layout, and then the next video I'm gonna show you how you actually add that to your photo library and then upload that into Teams.